Matenva Agasfachtje. Good morning and welcome. It's nice to see you today. In this lesson, we're going to take a close look at Moran and Bikan, two extremely useful words that chances are you'll use in every or almost every conversation. And there are some tricks to using them just right. So we're going to learn those tricks today so that your Moran and Bikan are perfect and you impress uh, whoever you're speaking to. Okay, gleva. So let's get started here. Moran and bekan. Let's sort out what we mean by these. Moran is many or a lot, a lot of something, right? Many, much, a lot of. And we know this because more is the first part of the word. So a large amount, right? A big amount. Ooh, let's put that. Big amount. Yeah, gleva. And what about bikan? That's the exact opposite. We see bik there. It's small. It's a small amount. So we could say a few or a small amount of something. Gleva. There we go. So moran, many, <clears throat> a large amount of something. Bikan is just a few. It's a small amount of something. Okay, gleva. Well, we have some pretty useful everyday words up here, some common words. And let's look at how we combine moran and bikan with words like these. Okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> First, let's sort out what they mean. Karichen, cars. We know it's cars, it's plural, right? There's many cars because of this ending. That's a pretty common one. That's a clear sign. Okay, it's cars. Kruvan, oh, that's a common ending too. So we know this means trees. Dunya, <clears throat> dunya means people. People. And this pen isn't, <laughs> it was working great at the beginning. <laughs> We're going to switch over to this one. Tayin, another common ending, just like with Kruvan. Uh, Tayin means houses. There you go. Just the S. Gleva. Kicht, cats. And this, we know it's plural because of the I. It's not kacht anymore, it's kicht. Same with ich, the word changed inside to mean horses. And this is important because we're going to come back to that in a moment. Ushka, water or rain. Etiquette, money. Money. It's also the word for the color silver, if that's useful to you. Yeah. Gleva. <clears throat> All right, our common words up here. How do we combine them? There are two ways we can do that. We can use a helper word, or we can not even use that little word. So let's start with using this helper word, because it's going to make things clear. It's clear. It's a clear way to use these words as they are. Okay. So one way is we can use the word de. Moran de. And de means of. Yeah. So if we said many cars in English, many cars is fine. We wouldn't say many of cars, but a lot of cars. Ah, of. Or a large amount or a big amount of cars. So it is useful to us here to use de. Moran de. And then what do we do? What do we do? Moran de karichen. I mean, that'd be nice, but I'm afraid we're not going to do that. We're going to add an H. Moran, moran de karichen. Done. Many of cars, a large amount of cars. So one of our tricks is to lenite if possible. 
Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> possible. There we go. Yeah, you lenite if possible. And most of the time, you're going to just do this, and it's going to be straightforward. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of nice. Morante Harichen. Done. Okay, cool. What well, us do a lot of trees, a big amount of trees. Morante. What do we do? Lenite if possible. Morante Hruvan. Morante Harichen. Yeah. Morante Harichen. Morante Hruvan. Nice. So remember this H, this lenition, makes it of trees, of cars. Yeah, technically, this is a big, bad genitive. It's big and scary, but it's actually not a big deal. If you have a word like cars, karichen, you know, with this common ending here, I mean, really, you're going to just lenite the beginning if you can, and you're done. <laughs> it's a pretty simple genitive. Yeah, it's big and scary. <laughs> Kind of like our lesion, but actually it's not quite like the lesion. It's not very big a scary at all. <clears throat> all right. So, morante harichen, morante hruvan. Nice. We lenite if possible. If you're still learning which letters can lenite, I made a video all about that called Letters That Lenite. <laughs> a very useful resource. It goes through the entire Gallic alphabet showing you exactly which letters lenite and which don't. So if you're still getting used to what letters can do this, can take on the extra H, that's really important to know in Gaelic. You know, I highly recommend watching that video. Leva. And then come back to this one. You know, this, this will make more sense. Yeah, once you, once you understand which letters lenite. And it's less than you think. That's the fun thing. You'd think like, oh, it's you know, every, every letter except one that ends in da da da. No, it's, it's, not, it's not every letter at all. Okay, Gleva, coming back to, to Moran here. Moran te Harichen. Moran te Hruvan. Nice. Moran te Hruvan. Lots of trees. Ha Moran te Hruvan on a main. Ha Moran te Harichen on a New York. <laughs> on a New York, New York. Oh, ha. <laughs> we lenite if possible. All right, <clears throat> coming down here. Moran te Gunya. Can we lenite a D? Yep. Yes, we can. Moran, moran te gunya. It's kind of a sound. Moran te gunya. Gunya. It was dunya. Now it's gunya. Up here, this was karichen. Now it's karichen. Karichen. It's a bit of an H sound. Yeah. There we go. Hruvan. Hruvan. Trees. It's a ch sound. Mm. Oh, in that video, <clears throat> excuse me, letters that lenite, it'll, it'll focus on those sounds too. Yeah, leva. Okay. Morantagunya. Nice. A big amount of people. A lot of, a lot of people. Leva. Let's keep going. Morante. What do we do? Lenite if possible. Morante <clears> Hayen, <throat> you can. Absolutely. Morante Hayen, lots of houses, lots of people. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, Morante Hecht. Coming down here. What do we do? Yep, we can lenite this. Morante Hecht, lots of cats. <clears throat> oh, now what about ich? Morante. We can't lenite a vowel. <laughs> we can't do that. But we're still going to soften the sound with a dh. Morante ich. <laughs> Morante ich. Morante ich. Morante ich. Yeah, I mean, you can do these. However, the way I'm going to show you next feels more natural to me at least. And I notice a lot of native speakers doing this second way as well. Yeah, but we're just kind of seeing what we can do with de here. All right, lots of water or lots of rain. Morante. Rushka. 
Morante Vishka. Nice. Morante Vishka. These DHs, they might be frustrating and surprising and seem very weird, very spontaneous, random even, but it's making it easier for you to say this. So if we said Moran de Ushka, de Ushka, there's a bit of a stop, de Ushka. It's staccato, it's de Ushka. But Gallic always wants to flow. So Moran de Ushka. It's easier for the mouth to say de Ushka. I mean, as you're learning these sounds, it might feel tricky, but once it's natural for you, it's actually less work for your mouth to say de Ushka instead of de Ushka. Remember, Gallic always wants to flow like a river. <clears throat> All right, our last one, lots of money, moran, de, gerigit, gerigit, moran de gerigit, lots of money, of, 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 yeah, gleva, <laughs> nice, there we go. So that's the first way. <laughs> moran de gerigit, moran de rishka, moran de rich. I mean, you can, but the second way I'm showing you feels far more natural to me, at least. Moran de hich. Again, it's, it works, but you can, there's an easier way to do it. Moran de heyen. Nice. Moran de heyen. Moran de genya. Moran de gruven. Moran de garigen. Nice. There we go. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is that you remember to lenite if possible, and you know which letters can lenite if possible. Okay, nice. So this is our first way. Our first way uses da. Now let's take a look at our second way. We just don't use da, and the grammar is a little different. So we're going to get rid of our da here. Do, do, do. All right. <clears throat> a little messy, but that's all right. All right. <clears throat> so the second way is actually a bit simpler. We don't use the, we don't use a helper word at all. We just say many, and then we're relying on this word to be of that thing. So before, the was of. Now we're changing these words so it's of these things. So it's just the genitive. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. And to clarify, when we were using da before the de, that wasn't the genitive. It wasn't. Okay. So we've got our words here. We've got moran and bikan here. And by the way, bikan works exactly the same way. Yeah. So let's use bikan as an example. We did a lot with moran. <clears throat> so a small amount of cars, or a few cars. What do we do? Bikan charichen. Bikan charichen. Done. Nice. This is already a genitive. <laughs> when you have a plural that ends in an or ichen or ean, and you lenite the beginning, if you can, it doesn't change much in the genitive. Just that lenition, if possible. Yeah. Bikan charichen done. So far, so good. <laughs> a few trees. Bikan chruvan. Bikan chruvan. A few trees. A little bit of trees. Remember with the H at the beginning here, chruvan, this means of trees in this situation. <clears throat> now, bikan. Ooh, now we would think bikan hunya. You can, in modern Gaelic, I, and I think there's been a lot of effort put in into modern Gaelic to, to make it follow this pattern. I mean, you can, but traditionally, you don't. There's no lenition there. Traditionally, it's and there's a, <clears throat> there's a reason for this, and we'll get into that you know, we'll have a video about that probably at some point. But for now, just know that it has to do with the letters. Bikan ends with an N. Dunya starts with a D. These are in the same letter family in Gaelic. 
And so we don't need lenition because this, our mouths are ready to say these words already. Bekandunya. <laughs> it's actually easier to say Bekandunya than Bekandunya because otherwise you have to create the R sound. Bekandunya. And as I said, in modern Gaelic, they're really promoting this. So maybe this will become <clears throat> normal. This will become the standard in the future. But as I understand it right now, it's not. No, no. Many, many, many native speakers, I, I, I mean, I don't know every single one, but the ones I've encountered use, the majority use this, um, this old pattern. So the thing to take away here, it may sound confusing and you think, oh, I thought I knew it. I thought I was following along and now it's just crazy again. It's actually pretty straightforward. If you use moran or bikan and your next word starts with a D, you don't want to think of it that way. So using this traditional pattern, moran and bikan do not lenite a D. <clears throat> and you can even make it more, um, more straightforward for yourself, simpler, by just learning bikandunya. Done. You don't necessarily need to be able to recite the reasons why there's no lenition there. I mean, if that's important to you, you know, I guess that's important to you. But really, at the end of the day, we all just want to be able to say bikandunya. We want to say it effortlessly and, you know, just right. And that's, that's in my, uh, my experience and my, in my opinion, the best way to do it. Just learn bikandunya. Done. Bikandharichen. Done. Bikandhruvan. Done. Morandunya. Done. That way you already have the correct grammar programmed into the phrase. So you just know. You know that bikandunya sounds right. And you know that morandunya sounds right as well. Yeah. So that's, <clears throat> that's my advice. If all this is really confusing and you think, oh gosh, more rules, more exceptions, it's not that big a deal. Just learn it in phrases, yeah, as opposed to individual words. And that's true for anything in Gaelic. Learn like whole, whole bits a sentence, like a half a sentence instead of every single word. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> coming back to our list here. Ooh, a few houses. Bikan. It's the same as dunya. Yeah. Oh, actually, I have it already. Bikantayin. Bikantayin. So D and T and N, they're all in the same family. So again, if you're using moran or bikan, and the next word starts with a D or a T or an S, then you don't, you don't want to following this traditional pattern. Okay. <clears throat> A few cats, bikan. Now here we have another traditional pattern. Bikan, and we're going to use ich as well here. <clears throat> so, if we want to combine these two, bikan kich, in this traditional pattern, if our if our plural here, cats, if it ends in an i, if well, if the last vowel technically in a word is I, like kech or eich, the last vowel here <clears throat> is an I, then traditionally we go back to the singular form. And honestly, I can't tell you why. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure why, but it's a very common pattern and it's very widespread. Yeah, you, you want to be able to do this. So, cats, kich becomes kacht, and then we lenite if possible. Yeah, bikan kacht, a few of cats, a little bit of cats. <laughs> All right, ich, it's the same thing, because the last vowel in our word is an I. So, using this traditional pattern, we're going to go back to our singular, so instead of horses, ich, we're going to go to ech, ech, mm. and then can we lenite an e? Nope. Bikan ech, <laughs> a few horses. Nice. Moran ech, many horses. <laughs> Moran chacht, many cats. <laughs> 
And this is true for <clears throat> words where the plural ends in an, or the last vowel in a plural is I. Yeah, this is not nearly as, how to put it, you won't be doing this pattern nearly as much as this up here. This is the most common. You know, you lenite if you can and you leave it. <laughs> Sometimes you won't lenite, you know, if you're following this traditional pattern with, you know, D's and T's after moran and bikan. And then these words, there are only a handful of these. So don't worry, you won't have to do this all the time. Sometimes, yes, but not every single sentence. Yeah, gleva. <clears throat> all right, so two traditional patterns here. Yeah, gleva. And this is just to plant the seed of this in your mind. You know, it's a possibility. This is, you know, something that happens. So when you see it, you, you maybe you recognize, it. okay, yep, yeah, great. And then you keep going. And then one day it'll become very natural for you. Yeah, rewatch this video as many times as is, is useful to you. Okay, whew. <clears throat> so after all of that kind of complicated stuff, we have a word like ushka. But ushka doesn't have a plural. It's not waters. I mean, in English, we can say waters, but rains, I mean, you can, but in Gaelic, you know, we don't. Ushka is just ushka. <laughs> so a little bit of water, bikan ushka, done. Whew. <laughs> bikan ushka, a little bit of rain, bikan ushka, done. Ooh, <clears throat> okie dokie. So our last example here. So we want to say of money, <clears throat> of money, and a little bit of money. Ushka doesn't really have a, a different form for of water. It's just ushka. Etiquette does. So remember, we want to say of money here, of water, of horses, of cats, of houses, of people, of trees, of cars, of, of, of. And if we're not using the little word da, like we did before, <clears throat> this word is going to change. Our thing is going to change. So, erget becomes erigitch. Ta-da! Of money. Bikan erigitch. A little bit of money. More than erigitch. Lots of money. Dare to dream. <laughs> <clears throat> so, here we have many different examples. Again, the most common are ones like this. Moran charichen, bikan chruvan. And then some have traditional patterns associated with them. Yep, and that those will take some you know, practice and getting used to. It's fine. Some may seem a little more bizarre. <laughs> Again, traditional patterns, not, it's not as frequent. You won't be doing that as frequently as you think. So just something else to you know, keep in mind and get used to eventually. And then sometimes words don't have any of that thing, no genitive. So it's like, great, moran ushka. Yeah, bikan ushka. And then some do, because we're not using da, so we want to say of this thing. Moran edigic, bikan edigic. Done. Yeah. And there's a ch sound here, <clears throat> if that's useful to you. Ch, edigic, edigic. Nice. So how do you know these genitive forms? <clears throat> I recommend learning them as you go. Yep, as you go, individually. Otherwise, good luck trying to pick the right category at the right word if you remember even what gender it is. <laughs> it's really tricky to do. So I recommend learning them as you go. And again, like I said before, learning phrases instead of individual words. Bikan edigic. Done. If you know bikan edigic, bikan edigic means a little bit of money, great, and you start using it, you develop an instinct for what is correct without sorting through rules in your mind, because that's really hard to do. Some people can do that. I would, I would argue that most of us really find it very challenging, and it kills a conversation too, unless you're really fast. Ay, moran tein, learn that. Bikan chacht, learn that. Moran ushka. Yeah, learn that one. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> gleva. So, 
The last thing I'd like to show you in this video is it's actually a lot, a lot more, a lot less complicated than some of these traditional patterns. It's combining moran and bikan with comparisons. So we've got some words down here. Let's make sure that we know what they mean. Nashar, ooh, wrong pen. Ampiaunkiar, ampiaunkiar. All right, nashar. Better. Hmm, that's pretty useful. Nasblasta, um, more delicious, more tasty. Yep. Nasblaya. Okay. This is warmer. Nasoika. Nasoika. This is um, younger. Nashina. This is older. Okay. So a really useful <clears throat> way to use moran and bekan is linking them with these type of words, these comparisons. And it, it really makes your Gaelic have a lot of character to it. It adds a lot, I think, to say like, oh, I'm much better today, thank you. Hami moran nashar and ju. Yeah, it's not that tricky, actually. <laughs> so what do we do? Let's use moran. We're going to kind of come through here. So, many, a lot, a lot better. How do we say a lot better? I am a lot better. Hami moran nashar. Done. Yes. No grammar changes, no nothing. <clears throat> uh, uh, it's more delicious. It's a lot more delicious. Moran nasplasta. There we go. Yeah. It's um, a little bit warmer. Like last week, <laughs> in Maine we had 80 degrees, and now it's back to 60. Um, <laughs> Bikan nasplaya, a little bit warmer. Yeah. What else can we do? A little bit younger. Bikan nasoika, a little bit younger. Maybe talking about siblings or family or that kind of thing. Uh, a little bit older. Bikan nasshina. No grammar changes whatsoever. And it adds, like I said before, it adds a lot of you know, character, a lot of expression to your Gaelic. It makes it sound really, really good. Like it's you talking, you know? <clears throat> and there are some other alternatives you can use for moran. You know, two other words come to mind. Let's not worry about that too, too much. You'll probably see other words uh, like far better, right? Or there's an alternative to moran you can use. Tor, tor, nashar. Yeah, so there are some other words here, but for bikan, uh, I would say most of the time we're going to stick with bikan. Yep, yep. Bikan nashina, bikan nashar. A little bit better. Bikan nashar, bikan nashar. Yeah, gleva. So using moran and bikan just right will not only be impressive to whomever you're speaking, but also it'll help. It'll help you express yourself in a much more human way, like a personal way, you know. Yeah, yeah, with personality, I mean. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, moran and bikan. Now, these are not the only uses of moran and bikan. You know, keep an eye out as you, as you watch videos or listen to things or read things. You know, keep an eye out for other uses of moran and bikan. You'll, you'll uncover some. They're very useful words. And as I mentioned before, chances are you're going to use them in every conversation. So I think it's worth taking the time to get them just right. And also, you know, be nice to yourself too. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't get too frustrated with yourself if it doesn't turn out perfectly. It, it will one day. Just with practice, just do your best and keep going. All right. Thanks so much for joining me today, learning more about Moran and Bekan. Leva.